Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, yesterday was um, a kind of a flubby day in some ways. We were doing another video and, and a setting was off and there was no sound. And then we saw we had a video pulled down. We had another video um, that was demonetized and we appealed it and then they reaffirmed it being demonetized. So this is on YouTube, um, by the way. So you could see the video that was pulled here is was entitled "This is Insane." Do you realize what this means? Um, it was actually the first one to go over four thousand views on YouTube in quite a while, um, but it was pulled. And again, they don't really tell you uh, inappropriate content, but but what exactly? They don't give you a timestamp on this. Uh, on on the other one, they did. Yeah, I was just going to say. Now on the other one. When um, they demonetized it and verified it, they did give me a, a window. And what was that window? It was when we were showing um, a bomb blast that all you see is really smoke in the distance. And that's what the timestamp was saying why it was demonetized. Um, because it was with Israel and Lebanon and a bomb blast in the distance uh, had already occurred. It's just the smoke's going up. So, you know, it is what it is. And the reality is, again, there are people that, um, I guess, go along with the program in some other ways. And, you know, they get pushed through and they could literally be showing <laughs> as we we're looking at uh, B O D I E S is getting pulled from rubble, um, and y you know it, it depends on where you are uh, with what you're talking about, and this is very, very evident and obvious. Um, and it's it's interestingly enough, it's not even just with uh, people like us that are really trying to expose what the system does. Uh, it, it can span into other things. You can still watch uh, the video that YouTube pulled if you missed it. It's on Patreon. It's on Rumble. And this is, you know, you could guess what maybe it had to do with. Um, hmm, perhaps. So anyway, it feels like we're going into um, a very similar time period to May of 2019 when Evolutionary just got hammered. And I literally couldn't post on Evolutionary for, for the better part of a month um, because they um, demonetized the whole channel and, and gave us strikes. So they gave us a warning, uh, next one will be a strike and then we wouldn't be able to post for a week. And what happened for quite a while was as soon as that week would be just about up, they would pull another video, give another strike, and then it would be two weeks. So in that manner, then uh, it made it very, very tough to you can't even post like a little thing saying, hey, guys, they gave us a strike. That's why we're not posting. Uh, you know, this is what this system does. YouTube uh, is, again, obviously part of Google, which is part of Alphabet, ties into a lot of people um, that have been uh Disappearing from public life in one way or another, we, we talked about the Shiki sisters, uh, Sergey Brin. Interestingly enough, RFK Jr. picked Sergey Brin's um, ex <laughs> to be his running mate for, for VP. Oh my gosh. You know, it's a tangled web that we see going on. This is Rhett Scholl. He's got 688,000 subscribers. And he, all he does is guitar and music. This is all he does. He says, what I hate about YouTube, because I'm seeing a lot of people in other uh, areas, like guitar and music, complaining because their views are way down. Uh, their views are way down, and they got to guess at, at what's going to work. And as he says, it boils down to title and it boils down to um, your thumbnail. And those are the two most important things. They're more important than anything else uh, in whether your video is going to get to be seen. Now, he typically does get like 500,000 to 1 million, um, which was the term there, uh, where, where people see it. Uh, view, not, not views as in uh, watching the entirety of the 
um, video, but in in um, like when people get to see this as an offering to go ahead and to click on and see if you want to actually listen to it. And then he was noticing he's getting like 50 and 60,000. So, you know, what's going on is what he's saying. But this is part of the computer algorithms. Um, but it does seem that everybody is is complaining about YT again. And it doesn't matter if you're covering news or if you're covering music. It seems that um, there's this tightness that's there. And I think part of it does have to do with the fact that we are going into a period uh, where not just the warfare, uh, the economy and the economic po you know, point of things, they are going to um, evoke uh, another rendition of the Great Depression, but perhaps on a bigger scale than the Great Depression was. So I think you know people being successful and doing well is not going to be part of that paradigm unless you're part of a certain club. Mm. You know, it, 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 it has been very, very difficult uh, lately. You know, the <laughs> being picked on, I, w I would say those that are not following along with any of the, the four pillars of what they push, we are definitely having a harder time, and that's where we are always so grateful for you guys to step up to help keep us going. Um, it, it's so important. I mean, we truly could not do this without you because it's like two steps forward, one step back. It's like we go up on views and they're like, oh no, we're reaching too many people here. We better yank that. And it's hard to say exactly, well, what, what are they going to yank it for? And, you know, they just sort of make stuff up and it's really frustrating because we are really telling the truth. And that's, that's, it, it's like this war against the, the dark and the light and yes we work for the light and you guys are helping us your light workers your light anchors and we're all in this together you know um there's there's several reasons that video could have gotten pulled i know with um uh what's what's her name i'm not even gonna say the name because now i'm thinking word flags but uh what's her name was up there on a podium just hammered i mean really slurring big time yeah, I don't want to say it, <laughs> but just really, really slurring. And then uh, the the information that we have to go by with what what it might be. I mean, the the other one that they gave us a window for and they said, oh, OK, well, this is why you're being pulled. Well, OK, well, that's nice. Now we have some direction. But the other one, it's like, no, we have to guess on the whole thing what it got pulled for. And it really seems so very unfair. And uh, gosh, this world was definitely not founded on fairness. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it, it, it does tweak a lot of um, YouTubers when people say um, things like, oh, well, you know, you're into fear porn and, you know, it, it, it's like you're doing it for the money. Okay, we're doing it for $9.50 this month here, guys. $9.50, we won't spend it all in one place, we promise. <laughs> this is this is Rumble. Um, if you want to look at the income on Brighty and Bitshoot, there's nothing. They're, they're not monetized at all. And the reality is, when you look at the income on EE Arts and Evolutionary, that $9.50 is right about the average video. That's that's all it makes, you know, and as even Rhett Schul, who's getting tons of views compared to what we get, he says you can't count on YouTube for income because you can't anymore. And yeah, a lot of people used to and even think that they're going to make it big. You don't make it big on YouTube. Um, I mean, unless you're part of the system, that's just the reality. So, you know, again, Hearts Home, uh, the newest channel. Uh, that nine dollars fifty cents. That's about what it makes in a month. And then E, -E Arts, you know, it's 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 probably about nine dollars a video. So that is about accurate. And same thing with Evolutionary. Um, there was a time when a video would bring in three digits. That was brief, and that was in 2019 and 2018. Uh, really just 2019 when the channel was growing uh, right before the plague upon the land and we started to cover things about the plague upon the land before it was the plague upon the land but we were covering things that were being put in place 
And that's when they totally demonetized evolutionary. So evolutionary energy arts made no money for most of its existence. So yeah, it's it's not about fear porn and it's not about uh, making money off of fear porn. And you know, it, again, when people say such generic things, it's just so distasteful because, you know, why do it? Why do it? You know, because if you ignore something that's going on, it's going to continue. And you don't ignore something and it doesn't become a reality. You know, that's just moronic. You can't ignore something away. It, it, it's something you might not see, but other people are still suffering. I mean, how, how idiotic can you be? People, I, I think they do get angry and they get in denial and that's just where they're at because it, if they choose to see it, they have to change so much of their belief system. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's deep seated. M Mike and I, we do this, de obviously not for the glory, not for the money. We do it out of passion. We both have lost loved ones because of the system and we're both, uh, you know, sometimes we just, we, we have this thing inside of us that boils up and it's like, I don't want to see people continue to lose their lives because of this. So it's, it's, it comes through passion. That's where it comes from. It's like we've seen so much destruction. We don't want to continue to see it. So whoever we can help and whoever we can pull away from that destruction and, and whoever we can help keep this person from losing their lives or a family member is great. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're wired to do. It seems like we can't seem to help it. Um, the other thing is right before this happened, we had uh, two invitations from YT for a boot camp. <laughs> well, you said you saw another, so you yeah, said there three. was three. Um, by the way, this is our lifetime earnings on Rumble, just to show with you guys. And you might as well say this is our lifetime earnings on Rumble, BitChute, and Brightian, because again, BitChute and Brightian are not monetized. So for every, all the time that we've taken to post the videos on those three uh, different forums, this is the lifetime. This is like five years. $226 return on five years worth of work is a labor of love. That's that's not making money on anything. So, you know, again, it is the reality of what it is. Um, so when, what were you just talking about before? Oh, the invitations. Oh, the invitations for boot camp. Yeah, uh, and it's hours long, hours and, and weeks long. They they're, were recommending us. This is YouTube recommending that we do a boot camp where we'll be instructed on best practices and and how to maximize the money so the reality is the system is the only way to make big money in this world and you know not everybody is after big money to and and my, you know what i think big money is maybe um, chump change to other people and you know this is just the reality uh of it the only way you can make their uh, make money in their system is to be part of their system. This is again why uh, we were doing a video and showing that little meme that was saying, okay, so the good billionaires are going to protect us from the bad billionaires. This is just reality. They're, they don't get to be billionaires without being part of the system. Right now, YouTube wants to cover up what Israel's doing. This this is one of the biggest things right now. Um, this feels li exactly like uh, it's exactly the same feeling as when the plague upon the land came out. It's kind of like they wanted to cover up what was going to happen with that. And you know what's happening with that uh, with Israel right now is is manifesting greater Israel because its power is going to increase. Uh, the more we go into the next phase of things. In fact, you know, if you look at it from that biblical perspective, you know, we're, who, who is the Antichrist really? You know, where, where does he rule from? Jerusalem. <laughs> so obviously Israel plays a key point. It's all about Israel. It's all about the Abrahamic tradition. It's all about, um, you know, making, manifesting these prophecies through institutions like the UN, and again, the Trilateral Commission, the IMF, you know, the WEF, uh, you know, it goes on and on and on, you know, with these different uh, organizations, the Club of Rome, they're all working towards one point. And that's maintaining control because they've already had control. They, they've used the illusion 
of all these different nation states, you know, constantly being at war to hide the fact that they're all being played by the same beings. All these chess pieces on the board are all really one being playing that game. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Now, this being said, um, $226.58 worth of earnings from Rumble for five years is still better than nothing from Brightian and BitChute. Um, so yeah, uh, I would still prefer to go with the Rumble side of things because things feel cleaner there, even though um, you know each one of them has their strong points and, and weak points. Uh, it does feel um, that Rumble at least is at this point in time maybe a little bit more freer. Uh, again, it depends on the topic because, you know, e each one of them has uh, an aspect, so to speak, that the system can utilize. There, there are a lot of people that are more fundamentally minded on Brightian. There are a lot, a lot of people that are more... Um, let's say, uh, you know, religious in, in a traditional way, in a conservative way. Yet Brightian's done a great job on uh, exposing the medical system. So, you know, each one, it, it's as long as there's a piece to the system that's able to be promoted, they'll be okay with it. Um, so again, and even with um, Patreon, you know, now Patreon has completely um, kept us afloat in comparison to YT because as uh, as the years have gone on YT has just paid less and less and less to the point where it's almost like you know why bother well you know again we're, we're not doing it for the money uh, we're doing it to try to awaken as many people as possible and um, you know it's still YouTube is still good for the most views as far as you know which of these actually gives you uh, the most reach well it's still YouTube at this point in time and it is about changing the paradigm which means you have to illuminate the darkness and then also of course try to give ways to to draw in more and more light so we just wanted to share this with you guys um, as you know, we're not unique in this. This is what everybody is going through. And even like I was saying, uh, even music channels. Um, and I was saying to Cindy too, why are they doing this to music channels? And especially, you know, Rhett plays, um, it's not really him. He's, he's more successful than most. Um, he's still getting pretty good views you know one day 50,000 views you know for for many channels that's phenomenal um, those people that are a little bit more niche and a little bit more um, really very high vibe super high vibe uh, they get suppressed and we see that whether it's in the hidden history whether it's in alternative health like I was looking at some uh, different people doing qigong because qigong has been you know such an integral part of my life for decades and it's all really suppressed you don't find a lot of views um, from people that are trying to teach people qigong and and uh, things like that because again the system wants you to lean on the system and and depend on the system for everything and they don't want you being um a powerful uh, entity yourself you know that has all sorts of potential including you know again the potential to heal yourself in a natural way uh, understanding qigong is is so important to m making yourself almost impenetrable to any of the illnesses that come by and you know again i don't think i've done a good enough job explaining that and have gotten sidetracked a little bit from the system and everything that the system does because that really was my intent and that's why it's evolutionary energy arts it's it was really mostly to talk about uh you know the energy body in humans human potential what we can do to heal ourselves what we can do uh developing our our gifts uh, that people might call spiritual gifts or paranormal gifts it's not paranormal and spiritual is a metaphor for the different uh dimensions that we truly uh, exist in so 
you know, going back to a great big huge thank you for every thumbs up for everyone on Patreon, everyone who helps support us through this, because honestly, as you guys can see, we could not do it without your extra support. And a huge heartfelt thank you to everyone who supports us in some way, shape or form. All of that energy goes to a good cause. It all, all of that energy goes to making a change and we're all part of it we're we're all in this together and 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 it's not easy but you know we have each other and um i think when we're going through hard times just keep your eye on the prize keep your eye find that silver lining do what it takes keep to keep yourself moving absolutely yeah there is a um if we don't notice it and many of you guys probably do notice it there is a massive uh, push right now to stifle your voice. So exercise your throat chakra, exercise your ability to express yourself in any way you possibly can. Uh, because when we don't let these energies out, they do cause disease. And so, you know, again, don't be afraid to express yourself and, and, and share your truth. Indeed. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.